All right. And th that's it. We're going. All right. We're, we're going. We're here. And Kirby's here. Yeah. It's good friend to Kirby. <laughs> Kirby. So I, I had a... I had an itch, I think, yesterday or two days ago to, to play some Kirby. But not... The standard Kirby that, like, you know, the, the platformer Kirby, the one that has the most games in the, in the series. No, I wanted to play the Kirby games that I played a lot of back when I was a, a small child with a Game Boy. Because back then I had Dreamland 2, but I don't think I played Dreamland 2 as much as I played these little side Kirby games. Kirby's being all tough there. Yeah. Kirby, Kirby is flexing and powering up. Yep. Kirby is ready to destroy Block. All right. So, so this is Kirby's Block Ball. Uh, this is a breakout Kirby game where you. Yeah. Let's start from there and and build up. Yeah. Your understanding. Yeah. So it's very long. But... Yeah. It's got. Ten worlds, like, yeah. and oh goodness, yeah. Oh, oh, this map screen, yeah. This map screen, yeah. Oh, uh, I I forgot to say, uh, I'm Sly on here, and uh, Betty Bot's here as well. I'm Betty Bot. We got. They don't even start you off with Wispy. I know. Off at like. Something and then gears, balloons, wispy. The borderline. Mm -hmm. Do not forget borderline. Oh goodness! All right. So we got our bonus Kirby. Mode. Getting bonus mode perfect is so critical for borderline. Yeah. So you've got six different angles to start shooting Kirby at. Uh, let's see if we can get up to the top. Yeah, and it, it, you know, okay, as, as, a, as a kid playing this, I don't think I appreciated the music as much as I do right now, where it's, it's, uh, like, remixes of, uh, like, stages I know from Kirby. But yeah, the game, the game starts out simple. We just have, we have block, and, you know, we have, you know, we have star block and normal block. Star block is tough. Regular block is less tough. Yeah. I think it's possible to... I mean, I don't even know if I should talk about it, because you haven't shown it off yet. Yeah, the, 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 the breakers on the... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, star block is tough, but not invincible. No. And, ah, cake... Oh no! Steel cake from Boto. Waddle Dee just sort of falls over, really sad, like. Ah. Steel cake. Yeah. So you, when you hit Star Block, you get double the points of last time you hit Star Block until you hit uh, like a, a a specific like I think it's five hits on Star Block. Yeah, it's uh, thirty-two hundred. Okay. The, the last hit that you get. And you can see up top we have uh, no spikes, so it's safe to hit that. We have spikes at the bottom, so don't let Kirby hit that. Spikes are pointy and bad for you. <laughs> yeah. It's a very constrained game field, and part of that is due to the Game Boy limitations, but compared to compared to other breakouts, there's just a whole lot less space, fewer game objects, and I think that's actually to the game's advantage, because a big... the breakout problem is, is a thing that exists, where you get near the end, and then suddenly you have, you know, just one or maybe two targets to hit, and if you miss... Nothing happens. Right. You you're you're just sort of waiting for your next shot, which if you're in a very large field can be, you know, seconds of waiting for bouncing and then you take another shot and it, it again like just sidesteps block. 
This especially if it if it speeds up, as many breakouts do, and you can get sort of Ooh. hot up with the speed. A warp with... star. Ah, the warp. Get on the warp star. Get to fly <coughs> the bonus time. All right, which 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 bonus game All should right, we? So play? we got up cloud, star catcher. Air hockey and up down. Yes, those are our four. Mm. Yeah, up, up down, up cloud, air hockey. I feel like you'd have an advantage at hockey. All right, let's 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 play Kirby hockey. Does Kirby have an advantage at hockey? You have to, oh, you have to play against UFO. Oh, all right, UFO. You gotta trick your opponent in, in air hockey. Air hockey is all about... It's all about prediction because it's it very quickly becomes unreactable. You have to form a plan. Mm-hmm. You, know, you form some, some kind of belief about the future. You act on it. But you seem to be given UFO to what for. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, UFO has been defeated. We get three, three, three ups. The googly eyes. Yeah. Really tiny Kirby's. Yep. That is, that is, looks to be eight by eight pixels. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, is, that is about as small as a curve can get. Yeah, like these, oh, one thing I'll show off here is if you, so you... You have your, your your paddles, and if you hit the A button, uh, your, your, the paddle like you know gets larger for a second. And if Kirby touches the paddle, uh, as you do that, Kirby becomes larger and flies out at a, at a faster speed. Ooh, I think we finally have our first uh, 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 border we can get here. Ooh, bonus chance. That is that is the bonus drop. Yep. There's some kind of wild optimization for high schooler that must be possible here. I'll yeah. leave that to the number crunchers. Nope. Oh, okay. Do not let Kirby touch Spike. Kirby does not like. There we go. So here's the bonus chance, where all of the blocks lose collision. So you can just go straight through them. They turn into blob. Also, it immediately causes... Uh, it, it changed your, your blocks. Your, it changed Kirby's momentum. And, and mm -hmm. then here we are, there's one left. Yep. There's the timer. <laughs> Easy. Oh my we goodness! Got there. Perfect. Perfect is worth so many points. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the music remixes in this are really enjoyable of the, the different, you know, Kirby sound songs that we we know. Ooh, this is the star one. Yep. Should be a star hiding in here somewhere. And yeah. The, the, so the we're collecting stars from each of these star blocks we're hitting. Mm-hmm. We can see how many we have up up next to our score at the top. Mm -hmm. Do we still get the star if Kirby hits it while in power mode? Oop! That was... that was a perfect... <laughs> yup. You defeat Cappy. Star appears. But now... The boss fight. And all those stars we collected, importantly... 
we collected all of them so it covers up all the spikes, and now we have to fight yeah. Omega Cappy? Yeah. Okay, so I got to show off how Cappy fights in this. Uh, you can see that Cappy has touched my uh, paddles on the, on the right and left, and they've gone from the paddle to one star. It does wear off after a while. Yeah. And it's it's not useless, it's just very So we have we have a full field of control, we have our, our stars to, to make up for misses like that because of the, the small paddle. And then you you have to sort of think in multiple directions for this, which is you know not you know, the 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 like base breakout is you know, you, you you're just going up and down. Or you know, you're moving your paddle left and right. So Oh, uh, we have a health bar for, uh, Cappy up there. Cappy looks so surprised. Know, every time. Every time. Cappy, you picked a fight with us. Don't act all surprised. Oh! We have, we have, we have... Things, things have changed. Cappy has lost Cap. Ah! <laughs> this, is, this is Cappy's next transformation. <laughs> okay. I just gotta get to 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 Cappy there now. I don't remember if Big Kirby causes more damage or not. That was a good set of three hits, though. Okay, no, Big Kirby just does one hit, hit of damage. Yeah. The, a lot of the benefits uh, of Big Kirby in the boss fight are, are defensive. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that mess with Kirby don't work if Kirby is big. Yep. That was 50,000 points. Oh, I beat top score! Yes! Yes, we have cleared borderline. <laughs> <coughs> And so now that we've cleared Borderline, we get this little celebration. Kirby and we friends. We get the, the parade. <laughs> Kirby with the... Waddle Dee with the horn. Canonically, <laughs> Waddle Dee knows how to play the horn. Mm-hmm. Cannon. <laughs> and you get to put your name in. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I can fit my hole. I, I didn't. I thought that was just gonna be three. Yeah, they they, they make you they make you think it's it's only three because everyone just does letter dot letter. I don't know who these people are even, but you get to use most of the width of that uh that field they give you. Yeah. All right. So we have we have our next stage. Wispy's way over there at stage eight. Oh, yo, that's, that's, so like, we, you do Shine and Bright? Right? For, Cracko is there in... Right, like Shine and Bright, Ice Dragon, Cracko, okay. and then Wispy? <sighs> okay. Alright. Alright, same borderline for the stage. Push A. Yeah now, yeah, now they actually tell you to push A. Yep. Ah, Mushroom Kirby. <laughs> they haven't brought that one back for any other game. No. And they immediately test to see if you were paying attention. Yep. So I'm 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 kind of showing off how this is. Um, as you you'll notice, I am not damaging these blocks. And they, just, they just make the little shiny shiny visual effect. And ting. Yep. But. Let me get Kirby to be a little more uh, vertical on a move here so that I can... There we go. If I use the ability that I have just learned, Kirby can destroy them. And also, oh, I got to show off a, an important part there. Uh, large Kirby doesn't die to spike. Yeah, large, large Kirby can resist damage. 
and there's only one kind of damage. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's pointy and you hate it. Yep. Also importantly, something that was shown uh, in the previous previous set of levels is that if a block normally takes more than one hit, either by way of you know splitting into smaller ones or changing color, mm -hmm. Big Kirby just instantly breaks them. Yeah, so we're we're seeing here we have different colored blocks as well. We have darker block block. And on one hand, that that clears up your playfield faster, but on the other hand, that reduces the amount of points you will earn. Yep. Oh, okay, I want to get a good just vertical slice on the right side there. Because if I can just do that, like, get on the right-hand side of these blocks, and then... Oh, and then just go wild on it. Hmm. Might have to just take whatever you can get. Yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and just take them one at a time. We, we already got our, our nice clear on them a little earlier with the, the left-hand side where I got sort of in between the blocks. The timing for it is actually kind of tight. Yeah, it, it's mm. earlier than you would expect for, for uh... You can see there, like, I... It's, it's not like the moment that Kirby hits the paddle, it's a little bit before. Because the paddle gets larger. Yep. And here we have our, our one block. Ah, uh, the, the breakout <laughs> problem. Yep. We're not immune to it, but <coughs> definitely... Out of all the breakouts I've played, this one has had the breakout problem the least egregiously. Ah! The rainbow trap. Okay, I want that. Okay, got it. So the rainbow drop changes all of these. Oh, that was, that was a good fast rainbow drop. Yeah, that's gonna be good for points if I can get the perfect here. I need vertical Kirby. Nope. No. Oh, no bonus. Uh, no bonus. So close. You get you get nothing. Yeah. Brutal. And Kirby has the little oof. Oof. He's like. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Take a look at this. We got this. This like. This person on a jog here with some ghosts. Yeah. Ghost, ghost jogger. Yep. Ghost jogger sixty four. And this one does have sort of a tricky opening question being at. Yeah. Oh, okay. yep. That's the flip mode. Okay. Trying to. There we go. Oh, heck. I could not answer the question the way I wanted to. There we go. So flip mode, you can see, uh, changes the changes blocks from dark block to light block and light block to dark block. So some sort of wild task maneuver would be to hit some large number of the of the slightly darker block to turn them light, and then flip them back, so that you get three hits rather than just two on each. Oh, I'm not gonna get that warp star. Not a, not a great world for bonuses, I guess. But yeah, that would that would definitely be getting. You can get a lot of hits with like multiple ghosts in a level. 
very spooky. Mm -hmm. We also learn about the face, which is a bouncer. Yep. Cannot destroy it. Don't need to. But it will bounce around your Kirby. Yep. Gets gets a little angry when you hit hit bouncer. Hey, hey what's the big idea? Hey. And here, I, mean, I wanted to I wanted to clear this in such a way so that this was shown off. Uh, you can see that I, I still have those two in the bottom. Yes, you are still required to clear those. They're, they are destroyable with a little extra effort. Of course, the, the bouncer on that side makes applying that effort a little trickier than, than usual. Yeah. There we go. Ah, and now we're in the star stage. So again, you don't want to... Oh, it looks like if you... Okay, yeah, you don't get the animation for it of the star flying out if you're Power Kirby, but you still get the star. Yeah. Otherwise, that would be pretty, pretty brutal. But we have sort of the same basic rules as last time, that once we defeat the enemy... Uh, the warp star to the boss will appear regardless of whether there are any stars left, so... Yeah, so we want to sort of take our time and collect these if we can. There we go. And that defeats the enemy, so warp star appears. Now we just need to find our way to it. Yeah, this, this warp star is not time. The bonus warp star. This is this is a mandatory warp star. Yep. There's also bouncers absolutely just <laughs> making a mess of things. Yep. <coughs> okay, but we are fully powered for the boss we're going into. And so you can see that the enemy we have to fight is is you know, yeah, it's, it's small, sort of a, related to the boss, smaller version of it. Question is, is this a large squishy, or is this in fact the legendary Master Green? Mmm. Because if it's just a big squishy, whatever. If right. it's Master Green, it's like, okay, the, ga the game has begun now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, okay, there we go. I got to show off the attack that, uh, uh, I think large squishy right now, but angry eyebrowed squishy. Uh, can grab your can grab the ball and throw it wherever it, where it feels. Um, I think it's only if it, you 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 attack from below that the grab happens. That that sounds right. And if it if it's standing still, like you can hit it in motion, that's fine. You can hit it from the top or bottom, that's fine. Or from the top or the side, that's fine. But you're gonna get grabbed if you go for a you know a shot from. There. Oh, no, no, okay, no, I got grabbed from the side there. Okay, it looks like it, it is based on being stationary there. He just fucking spikes it into the corner. <laughs> like, hey, Kirby, hey. wanna go, wanna go places? Yeah. Oh, we did not get borderline. We got close. We did get close. If we got that full... Again, you know, getting that, uh, the, the bonus round mm -hmm. with the, with the rainbow drop is a large number of points. Hmm. He even remembers your name. Look how good this video game is. And then Kirby does a little dance in the bottom right. Yep. So the little flag is how you know whether you got borderline on stage or not. Yep. Ooh! Let's go visit Kabu. Kaboo is going to teach us about powers because this is uh, 
we, we, this is a Kirby game with powers. Alright, so let's, let's get up there and get ourselves... ...a power. Alright. So there's a button I haven't been using, and that's the B button. And when you get a power, you can just hit the B button at any time to to use your power. And so this we have, uh, you know, electric power. We, we have a uh, we have the ability to break these like sort of multicolored blocks. We also uh, yeah, sort of sort of like outline block. Yeah. Also of note, we're getting more points for breaking block with power. Mm. Normally we'd get 100 for breaking those blocks, but we're getting 200 when I break them with power. This might be very helpful for getting to borderline. Unless they calculated that in and they're like, well, you yeah. also get half as many blocks to work with <laughs> this level. Right. So, better hit them. Oop, ooh, we got a... Okay, can we get up there to... So here we have a side panel. Oh! <sighs> <laughs> the bird just spiked me right down in there. <laughs> yes. Flappy birds. The apple is still there, that's so brutal. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you want an apple? Here's your apple. Here's your apple. Right, we need to go... Candy. Okay, cool. There we go. Trying to go for a more uh, horizontal movement here so that we can get into the uh, place with a rainbow drop. Or uh, get that power to assist us with getting the rainbow drop. Either or really will, will help. Here we go. Here we go, okay. Oh, that's interesting that outline blocks don't become... Uh, don't become made out of jelly. Oh, come on. No! No. Those last two. Get clowned. This game is hard, by the way, if you're going for high score. Yeah. It's... This game is very glad to just be like, oh, nope, not perfect enough. This is a breakout game, by the way. Yep. Which is perfection-based gameplay. In some ways, that makes it kind of a poor fit for Kirby. Although it's, it's not like you. I don't even remember what you have to. Like what getting all borderlines gets you. So maybe it's actually yeah. perfect for Kirby because it's like, basically getting through is pretty reasonable, but then going for like, perfect clear or whatever is an absolute like face melt. Oh, uh, we can get wheel power. I've been, I've been blocked by uh, Star Block. Horn swoggled by Star Block. Oh. But yeah, definitely like you know, easy to easy to complete, hard to to master is or, you know with with a lot to do is is something I think of in Kirby and that you know, like yeah, you, you, like completing the game is generally you know not. The, the, the big challenge, something like, you know, getting all the uh, medals in Canvas Curse, or... Getting all the medals in... Um... Oh god, I can't... Mass Attack? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls is a hard video game. 
quote, a person who has never tried to get all the medals in Mass Attack. <laughs> Oh, Wheelie had the, 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 the swap. Again, another point maneuver there. Ah, uh, we've earned points. I'm really... Now, now that like, you've mentioned it, I really am intrigued at like a score attack pass of this game. Like something where we actually try and figure out like how many points can be extracted from a level yeah and with the with rainbow drop screens it's also like the bonus is based on how many block and also time and so there, there's there is some optimal solution but it's like mm -hmm. because in this in this hypothetical score tab you're not you're not even going for time, so like, do whatever weird stuff you have to do to set up. Right. Without, like, I touch every block once, and then flip it, then <laughs> touch it once again, then activate rainbow drop mode. Yeah, that that is what you would want to do in this one. Okay, so we've made it to the final stage. We want to get ourselves all the stars we can. So you can see the, the sort of consistency here on the final stage. We even have the, the place where you know the warp star is going to go. Yeah, I really like that. That they're, like, willing... That, that they don't feel the need to, to hide it, so just, just tell the player, by the way, the star appears here. But in, the, in a way that naturally uses the game object. This game's quite good at naturally using the game objects to... to, to to give information and to, to tell the player things. Alright, we got one last star block. Mm. Kabu is like... Kabu has status. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Kabu is sometimes a regular enemy, but sometimes is, like, way more dangerous than a regular enemy. And sometimes there's... large Kabu. Yeah. Kabu. Sometimes Kabu sends the Warp Star. Sometimes Kabu sends the Warp Star. Warp Star! His <laughs> <laughs> mouth opens real big. He's a $5 Popeye's box. <laughs> Alright. And here's Kabu. We're operating on all four sides. Ooh, okay, so Kabu here, like, fires out these, these smaller Kaboos that can hit the paddle and then turn it into the star, much like we saw in, uh, uh, the first fight. But it looks like Kirby will destroy the little Kabu upon collision. Also... If you want to dodge star, well, they they will damage your your your. St if you want to dodge caboose, they'll damage your star block. Right. And this is actually kind of important because I'm pretty sure you get a bonus at the end of the fight based on the number of star blocks you have remaining. So again, some kind of elegant task where like. Either it intercepts or destroys all the incoming... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no! Not today. There we go. You get 50,000 for destruction, you get points for the lives. Or maybe you don't get points yeah. for... Star block. Star blocks, and that is something that I lied to myself about while I was playing this game. I'm like, I... I have, I have to... Yeah, you gotta, gotta save them. I got Okay. Oh, we're learning about uh, a new power-up. All right. What do we learn about in Balloon Town? Ah, uh, double mass attack. Yep. This is, this is <laughs> the start of the mass attack. 
Sure, you know, you're not allowed to walk in this game. <laughs> you know the rules. Kirby does a little spin, retracts limbs, drinks into balls. <laughs> Kirby. This game is so lovable. Mm hmm. Why well, can't video games be lovable? Why uh, like, can't video games be good? Uh, we just have to find them. They're, they're still out there, I, ha I have to believe. Oh, ooh! This one has a, 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 a flipper, so we have, again... The, the task in this one's gotta be quite difficult. It's gotta be absolutely what? Like, just thinking about how, like, you, you can't control... Like, once Kirby's in the center there, you really don't have a lot of control. Right, there's, like, some optimal entry. Yeah. And your job is to find it. Also, I, can you bring powers between levels? Because it looked like there were blocks there that you are spark destroyable. I believe so? That might be necessary for some borderline strategies. I just, just rushing down that rainbow drop. Yep. And so... Oh! I always go a little too close to the, the, the sun with trying to use the stars to, like, deflect. Oh. Okay, so rainbow drop. Let's get moving. Right. Okay, we got the help of a... bouncer paddle there. Right, that cleared out our, our right side pretty well. Oh. It's it's it is tough to get the the the, the, the full clear on these. Oh, ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. By you, there is not a single one of these in the game that I will deign to call easy. Right. You, you can try and make it easier by. Do it, clearing a lot of blocks before activating the rainbow drop. Mm -hmm. But if you're going for it, like, in, in if you're going for the rainbow drop directly, you you have a task ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the 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 only one, like, yeah, the only one we've gotten is is the the very first one we're you know, introducing the concept to us. So you had two seconds on the clock. Well, yeah, with two seconds on the clock there too. So. <laughs> there we go. Tilt the GameCube. <laughs> yes! Wait, birds. Do it. Get them on this GameCube so that you can tilt it more easily. Ooh. So, uh... As, as tends to be a, a common thing in, in breakout games, we have the the art, much like our... our, our our jogging person from the previous stage with a, a flipper. Also, we got... Also, we have side spikes. Yeah. Now. Side spikes. Like. So, enjoy... Hey. I want that rainbow drop. I have it. Got myself stuck in a a loop there. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Was able to get the the, the Kirby doubler. Right. right Actually, I... managing to on this one seems intense. Okay, and Rainbow Drop. Okay, we got to show off a, a part of what, how Rainbow Drop works. Because of the, uh, the Warp Star. Ah, it reverts into Star Block. one. 
I want to get back into a warp star just yeah. to show off another, you know. God. Mini. Block ball. I know. Mm. Peggle. Peggle. <laughs> Peggle. Oh, so the warp star is like gone. When yeah. you activate the rainbow drop. Yep, it turned into it turned into the the star block and it is it is a star block now. There we go. Alright, and then we're on the fourth stage. Let's collect stars. Oh, alright. Poppy brother. Yeah, welcome to the circus, home of the P brothers. Pop brothers. Uh oh, oh, okay. Poppy brothers isn't three hits to knock out. That's good. I kind of want some more time to. Oh my! I love this fight when you hit Poppy brothers. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh. He's, he's like so mad. Oh, I'm gonna get you! It's, it's oh no, now I'm thinking about. I don't even know what it is or what it's from. But Gnome posted it once on, on the Tumblr. Mm -hmm. And it's this like puppet looking guy who says, Oh, me, De Niro. And he has this coin, and then a coin flies out of his hand into a sewer grate. <laughs> and then he just makes this unearthly screech. And his eyebrows pointing straight in. He's just like, ah! oh. And Poppy Brother does have the bomb. Uh, Poppy Brothers has the bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Like, do not believe for a second that Poppy Brothers has forgotten the one thing <laughs> that Poppy Brothers knew how to do. Day one, 8 a.m., day one. <laughs> Throw a bomb at Kobe. What if that doesn't work? I don't know. Do it again? Yeah. Ooh, we didn't get the... We didn't get all the star blocks, and I believe there is a bonus for that one. There is. You you get it at the end of the star block stage yep. if you get all of them. So no high score on that one. Sort of blitzing through this. That's good. Borderline. Oh, right. oh, new power. What do we get? Also, we'd better fight Shining Bright here. I, like, there's no way we don't, like... Which is wacky, because that kind of makes Shining Bright the first, like, actual boss. Yeah. Like, you, you fought, like, souped-up enemies, like, normal, like, Poppy Brothers That's is at least, like, a proper mid -boss. But, like, Happy. That was definitely just squishy. That was not Master Green. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, Master Green d had to have existed in the time at this point. Okay, and we got to show off how stone works. It does break through the, the bordered block, um, and you need to hit your paddle. Or else, you know, you, you do touch spike. If you have a power and you touch spike, you just lose power. Yep. Yet another good feature of having power. I mean, the rock is invincible, but then it's like you're touching spikes and you unrock, and then it's like, ah, well. Yeah, whoops. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but yeah, so rock power. This game only has four powers. Yeah, it's it's. We have we have a, a limited array. Yeah, of I powers. think I remember what the other two are. But let's let's let them be yeah. surprises. Yeah. For for the folks at home. Oh, two rainbow drop. Yeah. Okay, can we double get... double rainbow? Can we get to the other rainbow drop? Just need to get onto the top of the 
arena here. Well, don't need to. I could just break. Yeah, you can you can bust through the shiny block. You got options here. Okay. Okay. Also Sweet. I got to demonstrate yeah. another part of, of rock. And that is that you will not break uh, the the solid ones. Wait, did you just destroy the rainbow drop? Nope. Oh, you have to get both. Yeah, you gotta get both. I was like, who oh, you crushed it? Yes! Uh, we see the value of having a button. Mm hmm. <coughs> so we get both a time bonus and a, a uh, oh, block goodness. bonus. Oh, goodness. 13 seconds on the clock. That was, that was well done. Yeah, thank you. All right. Let's get 16 blocks. So one block is worth, and one block and one second are worth the same amount. If we're thinking mm -hmm. about optimizing the score. Yeah. Oh, minigame time. Minigame time. All right, so we showed off air hockey. That leaves us star catcher, up down, and up cloud. Mm. Well, I I picked the last, so you pick this one. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with up cloud on this one. Up cloud. Okay, so up cloud. Uh, we have we have a goal. We want to hit these very sad clouds. Okay, they get angry if we hit them from the top. Oh, they 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 despise that. But inevitably, something goes out of control. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you hit angry cloud, uh, that causes the ball to go up much faster. If you hit cloud on the side, that'll uh, be the same as hitting from below. Uh-oh. We're trying to get the three up. That, that is our goal. It's tricky because a, just a few stray hits on the one up is enough to put it into the clear zone. Yep. Uh, I, I don't have the ability to make. Uh... Ooh! <sighs> okay, okay. I think one more stray hit on the, the one up will get us one up. Oh, yeah, I got sort of stuck over there. Yeah. This is the tension of the up cloud. Yep. Okay, let's try just a normal... Nope. Alright, we're gonna have to adjust... Uh oh Oh, okay, one up. Damn! <laughs> We got well, the one up. I mean, that's still I, I, that's still a one up. One up. Yep. But it's also again tying back into borderline. You get you get a bonus at the end of the level for every extra life you have. Yep. Because I think it sets you to to three or four when you start the level. Okay, I still have stone here. Want to pick up tornado? Hmm. Tornado makes it spin. Okay. We just have to get up there. Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta sneak in there. I'm gonna try using rock for... Yep, rock for control works pretty well, because rock... One of rock's powers is that... 
when you come out of rock, you have a known, uh, you're always going to bounce upright. It, oh, it's not based on I don't be I, position? I don't believe so. Let me, let me try a little bit more. I believe it's always upright. Yeah. There you go. Alright, so that, that can give you a known vector. Yeah, a known vector is very powerful here. If I know that, okay, from here, you know, I can I can sort of control this movement. And that just sends me off into that corner. hit the star blocks for points. We might be able to hit the, the, the borderline this one if we're if we're careful about things. Yeah, we missed the bonus stage, but we did get the rainbow drop. That Ooh, one ups from those. That's oh a, that's a side effect oh, wait, of hitting those that power. Gives you more point. Yeah. So you, since you get double with each, with each hit, and uh, you know, a one up is worth ten thousand, right? At the end. Uh, I think Something? it's flat thousand. Okay. I thought it, I thought it was worth. It. That's still like points, you know. That's still points. Yep. And there's. Yep. Mr. Shine. Bring back Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. But, like, make them a super late boss so that you feel like you're allowed to go absolutely wild and bring back uh, Solar Flare <laughs> as, well, as their team-up move. Because, like, that was still seri- like... Like that, you have, like, when I think about, like, excellent boss thing in Kirby, it's like, you know, Goliath was an amazing boss. Goliath was just this this great boss fight. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like, okay, well, what else was really good? Well, you know, uh, you know, Sectonia had a lot of really interesting stuff. And... Did you ever play Dreamland 2 and fight Mr. Shining Man? <laughs> it's like, you have, know, like, all of these, like, <laughs> from the super fast more modern games, you have, like, all of these intense boss fights, but then back in, you know, 94 or whatever with Kirby's Dream Land 2, like, like, the the Eclipse attack yeah. was, was just incredible. Alright, we did not get full star block. We have full lives going in. Or, no, we have seven lives going in. Uh, that's you're pretty good. Yep. But yeah, that, uh, Dreamland 2 is one heck of a game. And then, like, wait, is it, is it just Mr. Shine? Where's Mr. Bright? Oh! Where's... Heck. Doing his happy little, oh, uh, yep. There's... So there's, there's one, and then, now that we've gotten, uh... So yeah, we got both here. Uh, Ooh, going for my star blocks. Going for some star blocks and my bottom paddle. Ooh, that's a that's a smart move. Just just make one side of the board completely un you know a, a gigantic hazard. Oh no! We talked about a thousand points mattering. Uh, oh no! That's so close to borderline. Uh, that that is a hundred seven, a hundred seventy points. Yep. 
actually a hundred. I'm gonna flip. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, so so tiny points will matter. All right. All right you got to remember, like, just beating the boss is fifty thousand. Yes. So like, mentally, just just lower the number by by fifty thousand, and then be like, okay, how do I actually extract this many points? Also, explosion. Yeah. And again, this is a, a, like, required explosion zone. We, we are teaching you mechanic. And you, you need to use this. Explosions are mandatory, Kirby. Also, rainbow drop. Yeah. That's gonna be... Oh, I forgot that rainbow drops are not just something that you you touch, but that you actually bounce off of them. Yeah. Yikes! And now we're in the other breakout problem, which is when you put a whole bunch of indestructible things right in the player's face, and so they they have to just be doing fast reaction strategies. Yep. Yeah, because our plan right now is j we need to get up to that bomb. Yeah. Oh, no, apple. Mm, apple. Gotta have it. I can't I can't even tell who that is with the bomb. Yeah, same. Okay. So the bomb should not be able to time out. Like as it's a required element to beat this stage. Maybe you can also do it with both rainbow drops, though? That could be, yeah. Anyway, we got bomb. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's out, though. Oop. Most would start fading. Alright, rainbow drop. Kind of re gotta rely on bumper for a little bit here. Bumper, I need your help. Come on, one block. No. Yes. Yes. Bumper, we need you. Bumper. Bumper. All right. So, like, then look at this. Fifteen things, and so like twenty-one times five hundred. So, that, like that right there was ten thousand points. Yeah. As as just the bonus on top of whatever you normally get when you just the blobs. And I think you do still normally get get like normal points for that. You don't actually want a Kirby Emma. I know, it's tempting. Yep. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Going for another here we one. Go. Okay, we just got that one we gotta get. All right, going pretty good on points this time around. All right, yeah. I mean, leaving a star block is a yeah, that, that, that's big not a great feeling, right? But you got another like quick ten thousand bonus point. Just slam that in. And a lot of rainbow drops in in World Six. Yeah. I would also wager that there's some warp stars over in those corners. Yep. Seems likely that again, it's like a player or thing. Oh, and that it even it reveals it when you get there. Oh wait, Scarfy. Yeah, Scarfy. Yeah, Scarfy definitely explodes. Scarfy's. What are you doing? All right. So we want to get the points from the star block in All this right. one. Given that we don't get the the rainbow drop bonus, 
Let's take some time to extract point. Because that's it's worth like 6,300 points. Yeah. Uh, and a one-up if you can... I think if you can hit it with a power, you can get a one-up out of it. Yeah. Which is another thousand by the end of the level, so... Luckily, we actually have control over when we finish this level because of that block right above the star block. Like, we have... We have when I say we have control over, like, sometimes you, you, you might accidentally end a breakout level without meaning to... But because of that block right above the star block, which is a uh, a block I need to be big Kirby for, like, we can just choose not to end the level if we needed to. Um. So yeah, extracting points from the from the star block definitely something. I gotta step away for a second. All right. All right. We're over halfway on the game. I feel like at this point I want to finish this game and then move on to another one. And just keep... my, my plan for today is to do a number of different Kirby uh, side games. There were a lot of them back in uh, the, the uh, Game Boy era and the Super Nintendo era. Oh, it's time to be frosty. All right. Are you ready for ice cubes? I don't know if I'm ready for ice cubes. Uh, I have five of them downloaded, and there's one I, er, like, there's one of them I don't have on the list. These are all games that I played a lot of as a, as a, 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 a kid, um, on, on my Game Boy, uh, we have, because we have Block Ball, we have, uh, Pinball, we have Dream Course, we have Star Stacker, we have uh, another Star Stacker, and Avalanche. And they're all from the Super N Nintendo slash, uh, oh dear, uh, slash Super Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo slash Game Boy era. Oop! Ah, heck. Uh, I don't know if we can get to borderline. We'll see. I think I needed a. I think I needed to get the star for borderline. Anyway. Oh dear. We gotta get in there for hits. Oh no! My grab attack. There we go. Oh, Mr. Frosty. Yeah, we're we're being grabbed by Frosty. Uh, he oh he's definitely got grabbed. He has shown this a many. Yep. So, so sort of a an upgrade to squishy. Yeah. Man, I didn't bite. Must have pissed someone off in HR. <laughs> like for them to not like for so long to not have like them as a, a major boss, like well, that and then, I, I mean, also just in this game, they're like, yeah, oh. you're in the first half and you have basically no moves and you don't even get to appear on the screen at the same time. time. Yeah. After, like, like, in Dreamland 2, they were such an amazing fight. Heck, they're, again, they're, they're, they're the only actual, like, Kirby boss we have, we have fought yet. Yeah, we've got, like... Poppy and Frosty as mid-bosses, and then just, like, Cappy, Squishy. Who even was first? Now I can't even remember. Um... That was Cappy. That was Cappy? Ooh, and we got the, the multi-hit there. I got, I got tr sort of trapped above Frosty. 
Oh yeah. Oh that that was that was a finish. Mm -hmm. Oh Kaboo, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaboo. I was forget Kaboo. Third. Kaboo was great. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kaboo. <laughs> I didn't mean it. All right. Well, next we have uh. A, a pretty easy stage to guess who we're going to be finding here up in the clouds. Ah, cloud. Ooh, and another power. Alright. We get power of... Harry pop. Yep. So, needle allows you to stick to the paddle and then, uh, you know, re... Start and you know re-aim. It also still has the uh, ability to um, break the the bordered blocks. Yep, those are I guess just general general purpose like ability requiring block. Oh! Hi. Oh man. Let me tell you something about stream delay. It's exciting. All oh, my those oh my god! All those points. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was that was incredible. That was forty three. Yeah. To, yeah. Welcome to like exiting phase one with thirty two grand to your name. Don't come into Kirby's house. But yeah, so you can see here how powerful uh, Needle is. I think this, these two really show the, the power of full control of the ball. Yeah, even, even with the time that it takes to animate it, also, yeah, it was having some trouble showing the letters there. Yeah. That was kind of weird. Anyway, here's another, like, 15,000 points. Uh... Boy. Yeah, re re relaunch is, is kind of great. That's the only catch is like, since it does take a while, don't miss. Yeah. But I, I, I think that I'm demonstrating how powerful the ability is flat, just off of how quickly I was able to get all of those bonuses. Wait, did the timer pause while you were in launch mode? Did it? That 12 stayed on the screen for a while, is all I'm saying. Go. Yeah, so now we just need to, you know, we can we can choose our our shots and uh, try and get ourselves all of the uh, the star blocks because we can just yep. get to relaunch. We, we certainly get uh, quite a few bites at the apple, as it were. Mm-hmm. The pointy, pointy apple. <laughs> okay. So we've got a full clear on stars. I see. Good feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, just from how powerful it is to re-aim your shots, I think this is the most powerful power. Though, the, the like, you sort of have the same thing with rock. Only you can right. only re-aim in one direction. But being able well, to re-aim at all... You... 
Well, that gets you one vector of the aim, but it also gets you a lot of destruction. Yes. Anyway, here's Crack. Oh. Yep, so Krakow's here. Krakow is very good at appearing in Kirby games. <laughs> Extremely. Like, it... Krakow here's and Wispy. Who's appeared in more Kirby games, Wispy or Krakow? <sighs> Heck. I was just thinking that, and I, I, I don't know the answer. Which... Like... All I'm saying is that on the top of my head, I'm thinking about a game where Wispy does not appear and Cracko does. Mmm. Oh, we've been bolted. I, ca I cannot stick myself to a single star paddle with, with Needle. Is not enough to grab onto. Yep. Golem King is not actually Wispy. Does not say Wispy. Is Rock not a tree? Cracko appears in Amazing Mirror. Mmm. So, but 64, no Cracko. Would I? That's that's incredible. If there's no Cracko in 64, heck. Oh God! Now I'm trying to think if there's like some subtle sideways way that. Krakow shows up in 64. There's some weird stuff in 64. There we go. So it's... I, the Krakow fight is really neat because Krakow only attacks vertically, which means that your side paddles are basically unhindered. Yeah. So it's very much a fight where it's like... <laughs> demanding that you figure out your side paddle. Also, the borderline in that stage was 13, 130 rather than 120, so they knew that uh, it was likely that I was going to be able to, you know, get those high scores. But we hit a borderline. We did it. We did. We did get the Waddle Dee with the trumpet. Mm -hmm. Waddle Dee Mark. No, no, the little, the little spoke enemy in 64 doesn't count as being Cracko adjacent. Hmm, yeah. Like, there's a lot of wispy adjacent things. Like, a lot of, like, yeah. and it, it, it's, it's hard to delineate, like, what is a wispy and what isn't. Kirby, look, if I wanted to believe the Kirby wiki, I would have written it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, here we got, we get another movement power, like, uh, flat in, in, in fire. Flame power. Yeah. So we've, we've gotten a lot of different types of, of, of abilities. We've gotten vertical movement, uh, up and down. Uh, we've gotten... Oh, I can't use powers while I'm in, uh, double ball. Multi-ball. Ooh. Um... That's probably fine? Yeah. I'm gonna let that ball take a tank, because I want to... Ah, yep, okay. And so, much like, um, stone, we're always going left with, uh, this power. So we have, again, control of... This is effectively reverse stone. Yeah, in... It animates a little faster. Yes. So for the... You know, for the... Ah, oh, the tass. The tass. Yeah. Is fire just stone, but up? That's also a really good question, completely out of context. <laughs> like, like, ah, is is fire just stone put on? Oh, whoops! <laughs> I fell for their trap. I didn't even think about it, and I fell right for it. But 
by falling for their trap, I get to demonstrate a, a different part of th this. Yeah, it does look like the timer pauses uh, while you're in launch mode. I may have lost a life, but I was still able to to finish up uh, getting the bonus there. There you go. Ooh, a warp star. I want that more than I want uh, the bonus points here. Because we, we still have two more bonus games. So we have Up, Down, and Star Catcher, and it's your call on this one. Uh, let's go with uh, the Up, Down. All right. Uh, I love to give my enemies the old Up, Down. Ah. Yep, the good old Up, Down. Yeah, there's a Krakow and Superstar boss of bubbly clouds in, uh, Green Breeze. Okay, the heck. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah, so the, uh, the mechanics of Up Down. <laughs> I got to show off for five seconds there. Yes. You did it. Great job. Two up. Two up. So you, you Very yeah, efficient minigame. Yeah. <laughs> you walk in, you get two, you get two, two ups and then leave. Yeah, you got, you have, you have to match. Uh... When all of the symbols match, the game ends and that determines your reward. Also, they all end with DDD phase. So if you just mess around and don't, don't really know what to do about it. Oh, the final block! No bonus. Boom. No bonus. Yep. Now I'm really interested to, to like, test if the, if the timers pause during uh, like, launch, because I think you're right. I think it is. Alright, here we go. We got... We got a, our friend the tree. Alright, finally we get to fight a tree. Wait to know. Yep. I gotta, I gotta go back and get the Poppy Brothers Jr. spite. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, he's so mad. I'm sorry, Poppy. Like, Ooh, I'm gonna get you. Is this the only game where Whiskey comes after Crackup? I guess you know if a game has both. Yeah. And it's like. I want to say that in Pinball Land, since you just, like, pick a level... Like, in Pinball Land, you just pick a level, so you could choose to do... Yeah, like... Cracko before Wispy. But as far as, like, enforcing an order of Cracko before Wispy, it's... Hmm. All right. So we have no top here. That's intense. Oh, and it's the, it's the appearance of Gordo. Yes. Finally, the hero appears. Gordo. Ready, ready to crush your head. So yeah, Wispy's got a lot of the normal Wispy moves. Uh, dropping uh, Gordo. Gotta hit the face. Hitting, hitting the trunk just no good. Yeah, see... So the way I like to do it is to like get in a rhythm of a back and forth, because if yep. you, you know, if you if you hit the, the opposite corner of the paddle, oh whoa, I can destroy Gordo. What? Rare. Whoa, <laughs> rare <laughs> These footage. These are non-canonical Gordo. Rare footage of Gordo. Rare footage of destructible. Go what? <laughs> what? I gotta, I gotta sit down. I'm already sitting down, <laughs> but I gotta sit down. 
I'm, I'm making, like, just hands steepled against my face right now, like... False cooldown? <laughs> yeah. Those are... Like... Wikipedia <laughs> search. <laughs> False cooldown. <laughs> Like, like, the thing is, those could have just been apples. Yeah, Gordo-shaped apple. Did did Wispy attempt to confuse Kobe <laughs> by carving Ooh. own apples into the shape of a Gordo? Mm. So, uh, I talked about there being four powers, but we do have a sort of fifth here in mystery power, which is where you get to choose your power. And it is a choice. Oh, oh yeah, they cycle and you just, you tell it when you want to. Well, what do you like the best? I am very much a fan of Needle for its very, very uh, powerful control. It's not the best at destruction of blocks. That's a, a job better left to a power like a, a electric, honestly. Yeah. Bring spark if you need something blown up, you know, broken, and you know you, you have the movement of the other two. Like for a speedy clear of this one, uh, electric power would definitely be where it's at. Uh, did this game come before High Jump was a power? No, I think, uh, because High Jump was in Adventure. Yeah. And this game came after Dreamland 2, which came after Adventure. Yeah. But this is clearly adhering to Dreamland ideas for its abilities, so that's why there's no... Why they, they used, uh, Burning instead of High Jump for Up. Yep. Ask me about how much I want there to be a fifth Kobe's Dreamland game. It's like, yes, you made this very nice engine for Return to Dreamland and a bunch of games with it, but, like, look, hear me out. <laughs> what if the game was 50% slower? Mm. What if you just... What if you just took your time? What if you had an owl? What if... I wish I wish I was fifty percent slower, had only seven abilities, and could be picked up and carried by an owl. Agreed. Alright. So I'm going to try and use I'm trying to use my, my uh needle to get in this very narrow corridor, but goodness it is a is it a narrow spot to get into. That is, that is quite a little spot. Alright. I think the actual thing I should be going after is bomb here. That will clear out a lot of... The bomb enemy looks like almost reminiscent of Captain Stitch, except Captain Stitch is definitely needle and not bomb related. There we go. Explosion! What a wonderful game. So again, like, as far as points go, you want to... Any block that you can destroy with a power is worth it. Because normally destroying a, 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 a clear block, like those ones up top, uh, is 100 points, but if I use a power to do it, it's 200. Yep. You just get double points for using using your power. Like, the, the first hit on the two-hit block is 400. Yeah. And you'll immediately get the second hit, so... You don't even have to aim at it twice.
Well, mm -hmm. well, you didn't get the second hit that time. Yeah. Ooh. Let's look at the frame data on this. Yeah, <laughs> there might be like a range to it, because uh. <laughs> you you do expand when you needle. So like if you expand and like you have like if the you only have enough active frames at max range to get the first hit on the two hit block. Active frame. Well, Active frames. Oh, active. Spe speaking of active frames, that right there was a, a, a way I just created time to save myself. Um, when needle power is in motion, uh, you like you you like needle is stopped in place, but your paddle is not. All right, let's let's bonus. Yeah, yeah, big boot on. Oh heck. Nope. Okay, time has stopped when I'm in this phase. Yeah, like like <sighs> how up stop fading. Just not enough though. That's that's good to know. That really makes needles kind of wild for trying to get bonuses because you actually have all the time in the world to set up your shot. Yeah, because your your time bonus is based on that timer, not like an actual... Right, not, not real time. Yep, and as expected, it's Kabula. Yep. Which means that this is the closest... Wow, like, I'm trying to, th like, where else have we had, did we have Kabula reappearances before Kabula reappeared in, uh, in Robobot? Alright, trying very hard to use Needle to pinpoint, get me... Trying to just collect the rest of those stars. Yeah, we're gonna hand off. We're gonna just do a nice short pass. Again, you can take your time with this. Oh, Never. right. In uh, Revenge of the King, you had Kabula. Oh. Okay. Very true. Okay. So we did get all star block, which is a one up. So it's only a thousand points for the full star block pickup. But it's there. It's also some safety during the boss fight. Yep. All right. Kabula definitely has very few appearances. Cannons. You know who? Alright, so here's what I, I'm putting. I'm putting the money on it right now. Collect it, Magfest, if I'm wrong. Okay. Next Kubi will have Lolo Lolo and La La La. How long has that been? Alright. Kabula down. Like, uh, hmm. All right, we have a, we have one last stage. And we have a gear. Kirby does a spin and just falls down. Blowout Blast. That doesn't sound like a real Kirby game. There, there are all those, like, downloadable Kirby, like, side game games. 
Uh, propeller bomb. My old nemesis. Ah, uh, propeller bomb. I'm trying to get into that, like, very suspicious looking square. Yeah. Yep, yep. Instinct was right. So we've got one left. We have one mini game we haven't done, and we're in the final stage, so. It's time mm -hmm. for. Starcatcher. Time for start. Okay. Okay. Oh! Ah! Dang it. I immediately get hit by a bomb off the start. Whoops. I'm gonna need to find a new another one for that. You have to avoid the bomb, catch the stars. Do the opposite of what I just did, and you will succeed. Uh, no bonus. No bonus. Yeah. Just do Do exactly what I've just shown you, but the opposite. And success will be yours. Perform the silo now. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. I've made things quite difficult on myself because I do not have a power going into this anymore. Oh. Because we cannot get to the... We cannot get inside there for Propeller Bomb. We will not learn Propeller Bomb's deadly secret. Nope. A pretty good job clearing out the uh, the shiny blocks, though. Yeah, we are we're full cleared on those. Now we just have a lot of really small targets. Kirby used a gun in Kirby's Adventure. I don't know what y'all are so so worried about. Kirby definitely. Has used a gun, alternates between knowing proper gun safety and not knowing proper gun safety. Mmm, Kirby, you, you gotta be. That, that's important. Kirby, that's Kirby. No, Kirby, you don't. You don't point it at someone. Kirby, no, Kirby, no, you you don't. The Kirby, the trigger. No, Kirby, 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 Kirby no. Kirby, who gave you that gun? <laughs> How did this happen? So, starting to wish I hadn't bought Kirby that gun. Okay. We did get our clear. Ooh. We've reached a, 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 a stage where we have to do some some interesting maneuvers, just like off the bat. Yeah, I mean this is the final, the last level. So so yeah, yeah. It's it's here to crush you. Uh, it's mummies. Mummies. <laughs> mummies. Mummies. Mummies terrified me. First time I saw them, and they will terrify me the last time I see them. <laughs> Mummies are just representative of, of fear. So I always sort of sort of panic a bit. Mummies shows up. That was. God, what a what a great just video game experience moment that was. Playing Dreamland 2. And there's this part where you have to like go down through a whole bunch of star blocks. Sort of like tunnel downwards essentially, but just inhale, exhale. And that's the first time that I think that's the first time that Mumbies shows up. And I'm just like, okay. 
oh, you know, something, something in my, oh, no. Mm. And then, it, like, I, 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 I got out of there. And I was like, uh, 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 Because, uh, uh. like, you, you try to inhale it and it just sort of, like, vibrates and continues floating towards you. Yep. That's just, just the goddamn zombies. All right, so we have a bit anyway, of have a gimmick level. Yeah, here we have we have the maze. Uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Break out. I mean, empirically, it has to get out of there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> it, it it can't be stuck in there. Also, empirically is not at all the word I was looking for, but... There we go! Another clear. Oh, yikes. Kinda... Kinda cutting it close. Mm-hmm. Scofy is a really good jump scare. Do not try Scofy. M See, Mumbies is the slow creeping dread. Scofy is the jump scare. Also, what the? Yeah, what are what are we looking at here? What the hell? Are you are you just the special boss for this game? I can believe that. Just like you have to fight Bear Grylls in one of the. One of the Kirby games. It's just like, oh, you're in this game, I guess. Yeah. Nope. Not as good of an angry sprite. I like the waving arms. That's 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 a that's a decent like ah I'm 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 annoyed. Sort of Definitely thing. annoyed, but I don't. I like the with with Poppy Brothers. I felt like pure seething hatred. True. Like as soon as I am out of these frames, <laughs> I am kill you, Kirby. I'm going to put a bomb on your head, and the bomb will explode. The explosion will destroy you. Scofy, Mumby, Gordo. Just, what if there was, like, just a boss fight where there, you had to fight, like... We're getting punched. Ancient Mumby, Omega Scofy, and, like, Giga Gordo. <laughs> and, like, that was, that was the boss fight. Just the three normally terrifying enemies, but, like, mid-boss versions of them. We don't even bother giving Giga Gordo a health bar. No, you like, look. Come on, you know how this works. <laughs> oh, I got okay. I was very fortunate that I was still in my 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 big Kirby invincibility there. Want to stay in big Kirby as much as I can in these fights. Yeah, these are these are just really dangerous, especially the top segment is really just a bad place to be in this fight. And sometimes you're just gonna get yourself there and it's like, well, this is awkward. Also, like, actually get, like, this this boss has pretty good defenses lined up. I, I've, I found their weak point. Found their weak point? <laughs> I, I definitely found their weak point. Ah, uh, you found, you found a stable, stable loop. Mm-hmm. Alright, you did it. Okay. Extremely specific borderline score. Yeah, that's Wonder how they how they figured those. There's a formula if it was just them playing and seeing how folks did. That boss was Brobo. Bro.
All right. And Kirby just takes out a bindle and starts walking. Yes. <gasps> oh. So yeah, there's got to be something behind getting. All yeah, the like go go clear all the borderline. Yep. So we... Robo can be regarded as a fake final. <laughs> Robo, you're not good enough to be a fake final boss because when I think Kubi fake final boss, there is exactly one thing in my head, and that thing is a shape, and that shape is an icosahedron, and that icosahedron is miracle matter. Mmm. All right. If you want to be a fake out final boss, you need to at least like register on the miracle matter scale. So let's. But go you did look. it. All right. Let's not we bother with the borderline. No, that, that that's good. Let's go ahead and move along. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, another one of these. Nice. Let's see what we want to do here. We got. Ah. Uh... Here we go. Yeah. 